Good <laughs> afternoon, guys. Welcome back hey. to the channel. We are finally a reunited. We're gonna head to London. We have a few things planned. Lucy has kindly paid for us to go and watch Back to the Future, the musical, which I'm wearing my tea ready. I have been dying to watch and we thought you know what we're going to take you guys with us because you do ask us quite a lot to to film the weekends and we always say yeah, we don't really know what to do our first ever if you've been a like og our first ever vlog series was london so we're bringing it back guys seriously we're bringing I'm, the london vlog back i'm melting in this car it is red as yeah it's so hot so i did mention it in the uh, last series i think but the 8th of 8th of september so if you know it's currently we're going through some sort of like Heat wave, it is boiling so I'm gonna on. start the car, it's gonna get loud. Sorry guys. Okay, it wasn't as loud as I thought, but Ooh. 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 naughty. Ooh. Naughty 20 past two guys for time reference. I think it might take about I don't know about five hours, but then so. if we're gonna stop, it's gonna take a bit longer, yeah, I but think so. I just wanna point out as well guys, look what I have hold of. Kiwi Kiwi shrub. Mm, kiwi strawberry. Mm. Mm. I love it. I am starving as well, so let's wrap this yeah. up then I can eat. Let's hit the road! Whoop, whoop. The camera wanted to get out, that's all. So I got asked the other day, I was saying this to Luce then, would I go electric? Probably <laughs> inevitably, I'm probably well gonna go electric, but I tell you what, the day these the day these engines vanish, just listen to this. The day I have to go electric, it's over. If you get in this car with Steve guys, it'll do that every about every two minutes. Yeah, but yeah, but it's a V8. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. He is a beast. a beast. People call him the beast. My friends call him the beast. They're like, are you in the beast today? <laughs> <laughs> no, Steve's at home. <laughs> God's sake. I've been slacking this week in the gym because we've just moved into the new house. I've been doing a lot of work on the house, so I've been slacking. So he has. It's been a little domestic housewife, guys, while I've been in Paris. I've been painting. I've been. So this is what happened, right? I built. I, so it's been really hot this week. So I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build the kitchen table outside. I built said kitchen table outside, and could I get it back in the house? No. So I had to dismantle the kitchen table. No, you didn't. But did you not know? You've had, not told me this. Yeah, I had to, I had to, right. So I built it outside thinking, oh, I'm going to get my tent on. Lucky I read that. I built it outside thinking I can go through the garage. Could I get it back through the house? Could what, I? as in like heaviness or just? Just legs everywhere. Legs, legs. everywhere. <laughs> That's me, I'm legs everywhere. Legs everywhere. Lucy legs. Lucy legs. Two minutes. So I had to dismantle it and then rebuild it. You're <laughs> such an idiot. <laughs> So we have just got to Brampton Services. I've never been here before, and we saw the most beautiful Mustang as we pulled up. Apparently, there's a Mustang. Um, oh, sorry, it's not beautiful. Not a Mustang shop. A an American car show around here somewhere. But we can tell because we saw a Camaro. I wish we knew. I wish we knew. Camaro, Mustang, beautiful. I mean, we parked next. Of course, it'd be rude not Duh. to. Um, but we had a bit of a nightmare. The road, bear on the drive down here has been fantastic. It's been beautiful. Um, 
but we missed a few McDonald's on the way. Literally, like I looked like nearest McDonald's on my phone, and like your phone just wasn't yeah. getting any signal. I think you're on O2, and if you if you're on O2, guys, it's rubbish, innit? Yeah, it's horrible. Like you've been struggling today with like phone calls and everything, yeah. but so that I was struggling with that. So then I changed over to mine, and then we just passed one, and we was like, brilliant, we've just missed it. Then we missed another. And then the next one didn't say that it was a McDonald's. Oh no! Then I went on my phone, <laughs> pressed um, to go, and it was like, oh, you should have turned off that last junction. I was like, brilliant. Yeah, we were having a bit of a that. bit of a but nightmare. We one, but. I don't think we're going to go to McDonald's now. No, guys, it's a Wendy's. Oh, it's a fucking Wendy's. I've never, no, I've never been to Wendy's in the States. Ever, no, I've not. No. And I was close to going to one in, I think it was Mexico, and that's really random when I was there. As, yeah. it, with work, there was one nearby, but we, I've just never been. I don't know what it's set This picture of burgers. Yeah. But I hope it's one of its sells anything Do you know else. what? We can you get know. Mackey's anywhere. So yeah, I think that's why I feel like we want to go to Wendy's, yeah. and we've just met someone, another couple, and they're like, "We've never been." That's why we came here. It's like, let's all go to Wendy's. Yes, I, I'm going to get them. Show you guys the menu and stuff. We're because we hungry. We don't. I've never seen. Is it that guy said they might be one in Manchester, but I've never seen. No one. way. I mean, they might be, but we've just never seen it. Watch them be one in Manchester. Now. There's one in Sheffield, I think he said right. as well. But whether it's just making stuff up, but I've never seen one in Manchester. No. It's quite big, this isn't it? Yes. Yeah, there's um. A meal deal on the there on the door, and it shows burgers. So they obviously do burgers. I think that's a meal deal for four people because it's twenty quid for four yeah, burgers. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm trying to think. They might, they must do chicken, right? I mean, I was only going to get a cheeseburger from my kids, I think. So. Let's go. Still I need to find a bin. I know there's no outside bins. Oh. So we've got our food now. So I went for just a normal cheeseburger. It does normally come with salad, but I took it off. Woohoo, because we ain't got time for that, as you know. Um, I also got a Dr Pepper, and they also had syrups as well, guys. So they had lime, raspberry, cherry, and vanilla. And I went for raspberry Dr Pepper, which I've had a sip and it's really nice. And then I got chili cheese fries. Look how incredible, look how big it is as well. I did go for a large meal. Look how big, I'm so excited for these. So I went for the Baconator. I actually thought it was gonna be bigger than that. Um, oh, I think it's got mustard on it. You know what? I'm not mad, I'm gonna try it. Let me smell it. Oh, it smells really good. Oh my, oh, it's curry sauce. Duh. I went for the curry sauce. I poured bacon in it on yeah. it as well. I poured smell bacon. I also went for some cheesy fries, which look, they don't look like the best things I've ever seen, but they look, they do look, they smell amazing. And some nugs. So I'm hoping they're gonna be amazing. I also picked up a vanilla Dr Pepper and I got a Frosty and the, the, the uh, chap gave me a free one just so as like a little tester for Lucy. I, obviously Lucy doesn't like stuff like this so she won't test what it or anything. Is it just like get milkshake, I think so, yeah. I'm not try I'll try it in a sec. Seeing as though I didn't get my chilli cheese hot dog in Paris, I got the chilli cheese fries. That's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh yeah. Good? Mm-hmm. They're really, really good. That cheese as well, like, yeah, amazing. Okay, so I just want to point out as well, the staff in that Wendy's were amazing. There's a wasp. <laughs> Lucy's going crazy with right? camera. <laughs> Where is it? I don't know, it's gone. I think it's gone. No, it's not. No. Don't let me get my food, don't let me get my food. Right, no, get away. I'm struggling, eh? <laughs> right, it's gone. No, it's not. It's not. Right. Okay. No, it's not. But so take two. disaster. Take two of the the taste test. There was about six wasps that attacked <laughs> us, so we've moved. I've um, got really bad anxiety right now. I was like trying to drink this desperately, running away from the wasps. Oh. Which, by the way, the frost is amazing. I'm sure a wasp went in my chili cheese fries. Mm. Yeah. Oh well, I'm gonna sit in the car in a minute. Right, I don't care how hot it is. 
let me try one of these nugs. Come here. Right, I've gone. I'm not going to put any sauce on it because. And I've got so. some ketchup if needed. That's right, no, I've got sweet chili sauce. How do they compare to a McDonald's nugget? Completely different. Can you not even compare? No, completely different. Very nice though. I, I don't know. I don't know which I prefer, but they're really good. Also, mm. what I was saying was the staff here were amazing. They were so nice, weren't they? The guy came out and spoke to us, didn't he? Oh, like all of them were like crowding around us and everything. Like I don't think they'd seen anyone with a camera before. You know what? Like, it didn't help that it was, it was dead quiet in it there. It was so quiet. And then me and Luce came in like. <laughs> Well, Steve did. You know what he's like. Okay, I was like, Wendy! <laughs> and everyone was like, <laughs> The Northern is here. <laughs> Literally. Get out. Right, come on. Sorry, amazing. Try right. your next burger, please, before the wasps come and get us. Yeah. I, need to sit in, <laughs> I need to sit in the car. Yeah, we're eating that back of the Mustang now. <laughs> mm, it's really good. Is my burger in that bag? I didn't pick it up, I yeah. just ran. Okay, that's, cool. Look it. That's really nice. It's, um, I don't know how to describe it, but it's really nice. Oh, that's what I was going to say. In total, it was £28.28, oh, yeah. I think it was. 28 28 or something. And Which... I apologise, guys, if I see any prices this trip and I say Euros, because I've just been to Paris and I've only just got got used to saying Euros because yeah. I kept wanting to say dollars. So now I'm at a different whole new, new different currency now, so I'll probably say Euros, but I'll this, try and say pounds. This tastes completely different to any of the fast food I've ever tried. It, does it taste American? Is it even American or is it like Canadian or something? I don't yeah, maybe Canadian. Know. I don't know. I don't know. So we're finished at Wendy's now. What did you think? You know what? I enjoyed it. I think yeah, I surprisingly, did. surprisingly, those cheesy chips were. They, they stole the show as far as I'm concerned. They were really good. They reminded me of Wing Stops chips and cheese. Really? So and I nice. really like them ones. Yeah, super, super nice. Maybe, I'll say maybe next time I'll have them, we probably yeah. won't be here next time Come for on, a while. Um, I really like them chilli cheese fries as well. D definitely recommend them. It's I mean, really my burger nice. was lovely. I realised halfway through eating it that they didn't actually have ketchup on and I did ask for ketchup, so I went and put ketchup on and it was much nicer. I thought, it's a bit dry this. Then I realised it was literally just bread, bread. Um, the patty and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Until you poured your own ketchup And then on. I put ketchup on and I was like, oh my god, this is this is amazing. So, yeah, yeah definitely don't get a dry burger is all I'm saying yeah. on that one. But you know what? Like, would I prefer a Burger King's Double XL burger? Yes. I do would prefer. You? 100% I think I prefer that burger. I haven't had Burger King in years, mate. But I can't compare it. The chips and the cheese a sauce better it. Way better, way, like, way better. I, I kept saying like, oh, what do the nuggets taste like compared to McDonald's? But you can't com you can't compare it. I mean, if McDonald's did chili cheese fries, then obviously I'd compare, but... The nugs I mean, are different, but the, the nugs were really, really good. I, 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 in fact, in the end, I never actually put any sauce on them. Did you not? No, Normally you really, do as well. Like, in Mac, really you're nice. like, I need that... Is it the sweet kawasashi? Sweet, yeah, so it, it was really nice. And also, guys, we actually met the uh, wonderful Carleen. She's called. No, I actually spoke Hi, to Carleen. Hi, Carleen, if you're watching. I actually spoke to her a few weeks ago um, about the big show because we met the big show on the way home and she was telling the kids that kids are huge fans of oh, WWE. Over. Um, huge fans of WWF when I used to watch it. And we actually spoke about the big show, so it was super nice to meet her as well. And oh, of all places lovely. as well, to meet at Wendy's. You know, because she was telling us she's going on a little weekend away up north. And obviously we're going down south. So I said, what are the chances that we're actually bumped into each other? Yeah, I think she noticed um, our car and shit first. I think so, I was yeah. like, I think I recognise that car. And then I think she saw you and was like, oh my God. Yeah. So um, it was lovely to chat to you. Thanks for saying hi. Yeah, thank you for saying hi. We really enjoyed, enjoyed meeting you. But no, we are back on track now. We're heading back down. It we're does say we're going to arrive at 7.41, so another 56 minutes. But you know what? This drive has been amazing. No traffic, touch wood. No traffic Yeah, I don't yet. know which, we came on the M6 and then we went on A-Roads then, didn't we? And these A-Roads have been perfect. I mean, the M6 are fine for us. Obviously, going the other way, I think you would have seen on the B-Roll that there was all loads of traffic, but it was going the other way, so yeah. nice one. Yeah. So with that being said, let's go! So the hotel we're actually staying at is called the Gantry Curio Collection by the Hilton, and it's in an area called Stratford, which I've never been to before, but apparently Steve's been round here when he went to visit his friend in London. Did you park here? Yeah, me and Perry, when, when we come to London, we park here. It looks it looks quite nice. I mean, nice. we're just heading at the minute to Westfield Car Park because online on the hotel's website, it says to park here. I don't think the actual hotel has parking, but it says online it's £16 per 24 hours. If you stay at the hotel, you can get it half price, I think. But we'll obviously double check that and let you know the price. But I think it says we're two minutes away. There's the... Um, 
Olympic Stadium over there. I don't know if you can see that tower thing there. And then yeah, so we'll um, we'll let you know when we find this car park. It's saying two minutes away. But yeah, this Westfield I think is a massive shopping mall. Yes, yeah, huge. So is it? Huge. So I mean, cheeky shopping trip maybe. Shopping. I booked this because it was in a shopping mall. That's why. Because I knew you loved shopping. I love shopping. <laughs> gonna get you to spend all your money on me woohoo we found it so it said online as well to park in car park a or b and it's about a five or ten minute walk to the actual hotel Which from here great. yeah oh it's tight oh yeah i wouldn't want to be driving around here oh, in this no, car I don't like this. Ooh. so no ticket required your number plate has been registered please drive through Okay, so I wonder you just put a number plate in somewhere or at the hotel and it should. Oh no. Oh. Oh, this car's so big. You've got it, you've got it. Woo! Professional driver over here. That's one. Oh, as close to the corner as I can. Wish us luck, guys. So we have actually just got a parking spot just here, right in the end. I'm so glad it was on the first floor because this car park is tight. I didn't get out of the way. I'm just trying to stay in the light here. Yeah. So Lucy's just gonna put her shoes back on, and then we're gonna grab the uh, cases and bags, and we're gonna head over to the hotel, which I think Lucy mentioned was a five-minute walk. So yeah, we are parking in car park A, and I think it's roughly about eight pound per day, which is cheap cheap yeah so it is actually a six minute walk which is actually really good uh, it's very convenient i think uh, last time me and perry actually came here we actually went to the underground to head into london and i think it was roughly about 10 minutes on the uh, tube which is unbelievably quick Found it. yeah buddy i think this is it it's what max is saying oh we're playing I'm like it's not this Just gotta check in happy birthday to me <laughs> So the guy decided he wanted to go green. Like it's made of wood. Or whatever it is. Look how nice that is. As soon as That's I saw cute. it, as soon as I saw it, I was like, that is a nice key. And also, we have bottles. So when you check in, they take £50. Is it per night? No, it just is charged it? me 50, so it was just a, a you know a standard 50 right. charge. I thought it was per night, yeah. but he has so, only he has only charged me 50 not 100, so yeah, it must just it be is. a standard charge. Bottle of water with the gantry on it, it's unlimited, uh, but they do keep a hold of £5 until you return the bottle because obviously people like to steal stuff. So Yeah, anyway. if you take the bottle home with you, it basically costs you a fiver. Yeah. And they also give us complimentary drinks as well. Yeah, staff. it's didn't yeah. yeah, so let's have a little look at this. The staff here are so nice. Two comp house drinks. I think there's a bar on floor 18 and he said we can use them there. Right, are you ready? Four or three? Let's go in. Boom. Ooh. Oh, that haircut. <gasps> Whoa. What? Whoa, look at this colour. I love that colour. Oh my God, this is such a nice room already. Wow. Okay, so we come in. What's in there, Steve? I don't know, but I want to take it home. Look at that. Oh my God. Can we open it? <gasps> is, is it not just drawers? Okay. I love that. We've also got what I presume is a wardrobe. Oh, loads of hangers. I mean, oh, there's an umbrella for for your use during your stay. Put, put that in your bag and take it home. Not over tight. Oh, there's also an iron, iron. ironing board, hair dryer up there. Don't know if you can see; it's a bit dark. There we go. What's this for? God knows. But this is what the overview of the room looks like. A very big bed. So I love the detail. Look at these cogs here. Look at this. Yeah, so cool. even the decor of the um, lobby, I think Steve might have done a little overview of it, but that was really nice. Question is, do we have... What's the view? view? So yeah, that's the bed and lovely size. 
There's plug sockets, both sides as well, a lot of them as well I've seen. Are we going to be able to see this without a reflection? You know what? I'll get behind. <laughs> I just literally have one to stay. Whoa. Right, so. Let me get behind. I'm just trying to get behind. Oh, right, one sec, guys. One sec. So over there, I think, is where we parked. I don't know if you can see that red little sign there. It says Westfield. That's a shopping centre. So yeah, I've got a really good view. I think this is where we obviously walked in. Oh, yeah, there's a plane coming. We're actually on the flight path, I think. I don't know which. It might be London City Airport, I presume. But yeah, this is a lovely view. Oh, I can't, I can't get out! Oh, here we go. TV, that's a nice size. Table. Oh, a long mirror. That's a lovely mirror, that. I love the lighting behind it. I think I want a light behind it. If we get a mirror in our new house, I want a light behind it now. That's so nice. That's nice. And then it's got coffee facilities. Even look at these. Look at Ooh. The so actual nice. glass as well. Yeah. <gasps> posh. This is an Absolutely expensive. posh. Well, you know, I did treat you. Treat myself. So, have we got... Ooh, oh, my God. Okay, safe. I have one of these in my house. Put my watches in. Yeah, that's quite good. That's quite a big size. I was looking for the fridge, actually. If there is a fridge. <gasps> Whoa. So that's the fridge. <laughs> this is cute. Right. Let's show you the bathroom. Oh, my God. Look at that shower. Look at the size of that. Yeah, size oh, my God. That is massive. What's the shower head look like? Oh yeah, that's a decent size, isn't it? You've got that as well. Oh yeah. Got a door, I mean you got a handle. Door handle. Where does that lead? A secret, secret room. We've got some um, shampoo and stuff there. Probably going to smell good. Look at this tap. <gasps> look at this tap. I'm more bothered about that mirror. I want, that's kind of similar that we're going for, isn't it? In the hallway. I've literally just bought one. Yeah, this is kind of similar. Imagine it with a light behind like that though. I feel like we need that. We're going to copy it. Literally, our, our, our um, house is now just going to look like this. Oh, a lovely sink. They've got a makeup mirror. Amazing. Love that. Towels. How do they feel? Yeah, good. Oh, I love it. I actually love it. Obviously, toilet's a toilet. Right, let's get unpacked. In the bin. But yeah, let's get unpacked and then we'll decide what we want to do. Oh yeah, bed test. It's good that. I like. So we have just started the parking at the hotel. Uh, it's correct, it is £8 for the weekend uh, per day and £6 tonight on the Friday. So that is really, really cheap. Just want to say, like that hotel is beautiful. We've already said it, we've not even it's stayed well. there. We haven't stayed there yet. We've also always said, oh, oh, oh. We keep saying we want to, we, we kept saying, oh, we'll come here again like, yeah. next time. Like we've not even like spent a night yet, but <laughs> I can just tell we're going to love it. We've been there five minutes. Um, I just want the whole decor, like it's going to be inspiration for our new yeah. home. Now, we've actually just come out of the hotel now. now everything shuts in the next 30 minutes, so we're going to head on into Westfield Mall, and again, everything shuts at 9. It's currently half just eight. gone half past 8, so we're probably not going to see much tonight. I've been up since 2.45 for work this morning, Ooh. so uh, we might just head back for this evening, get the free drink, maybe chill out in the hotel room, and then obviously crack on with the day tomorrow. But we also have not mentioned this. We're actually going to put all this London trip in one entire vlog. Yeah, this is all just going to be one vlog of the, the three days. Yes, yeah. So yeah. obviously this one is not going to be too long, the travel trip down, uh, most of no. it will be tomorrow. Yeah, it's all going to be one jam-packed, fun-filled yeah. vlog. Guys, one. genuinely feel like I'm on holiday, like it's so what hot. What, how, how, how hot is it now? About 25 degrees or something? 26. 26 degrees and it's half eight at night. I feel like I'm in Florida. It's like the UK, all right. It's proper <laughs> going through a heat wave, isn't it? Like, it's not, yes. It's not on this, it's September. Like I said in the, the ending of my Paris vlogs, like it's, it's meant to be Halloween. I'll but take this any I day. I want to wear my Halloween jumpers. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> I'm in the film. Elf. I think he's longer than that though, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's 
It oh, is so nice in here, isn't it? I said this last time I was here with Perry. It's such a nice mall. It's massive. Isn't it? Three floors of like shops galore. We were on the hunt for next because we heard there was going to be a Bath and Body Works here, but on the that's way. What said. That's what Google said. But if you look up just here. We've just seen a really big Under Armour store, so we're definitely going to hit that before it shuts in 14 minutes. Project Rock, let's go! I think I found the new release. 140 there, yeah. How nice are they? I like the colour. So do I. I also love this. I love that. 62 quid, that's not bad compared to American prices. And there's shorts behind as well. Shorts as well. The Project Rock ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I love them. Look at the most five inch ones, aren't they? <gasps> How much? I'm going to tell you now. I think you can treat yourself. Them ones are 45. 53, God, that's expensive, isn't it? These ones are 40. Oh, no, wait, that's the best. <laughs> Look at that. I love this release. Yeah, I really like this actually. Oh, I've never seen this before. No, I've not. A bit random, but. That, that, I think that, that, them in the shorts are uh, what I love. Well, there's a vest behind it, you know. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is. Oh, God. Oh, wow, that's... <laughs> the nips would be right here, wouldn't they? Free the nip and all that. <laughs> wow. There's only these little bits, no, but at least that. there's a little section. I love that. And just like that, we are back. So, obviously, when we went to Underarm, we only had about 14 minutes left. So, as you can imagine... We ran out of time and all the shops shut. So all we simply did was have a walk around. We didn't find a Bath and Body Works. We think it's actually gone. That apparently the security guard mentioned that it had gone next. Next had actually gone. So that's a shame because Lucy mentioned it was the first Bath and Body Works in the country. Yeah, I think so. I googled it like while we're in there, being like, like I need to find a store directory. Yeah. It wasn't on there. And then you know I googled Bath and Body Works Westfield, and yeah, it said it was the first Bath and Body Works like store bit to come to UK. So I don't know. Mm. If it didn't do very well, or I don't know, it's a shame if it has gone. But either it's way, because we... that shopping centre has got loads of shops. Oh, like it, surely it would have done well there. I know, I know, it was weird. Uh, but we oh. didn't find it, unfortunately. But we, we did didn't. find a Starbucks. So unfortunately, they also didn't have the dragon fruit. But we both got a large strawberry acai. So yeah, we had they those. Yeah, do the dragon fruit, which is a bit annoying. Yeah. But but we also picked up another one of these. As you can imagine, you probably know what it is. It's the Been There series for London. So, at the moment now... Um, reveal time! Reveal time for the cop! Hey! Try and get my face out of it. Oh, look. Now, we weren't actually going to pick it up, but I thought, you know what, we've started collecting them now. Um, I've got a Scotland one, I've got a Disneyland 30th one, and now we've got a London one, so... It, why not? It was £14.50. Yeah, like, I was, like, we were looking at him, we were thinking, shall we? Because, obviously, we're from the UK, and... Do we need a London one? But yeah, we did actually. Yes, we do. Yeah, we did. Let's. We're just gonna start collecting them from all different places. I mean, we don't need like a Manchester or no. anything like that. But a London one's cool. Yeah, it's sick. It is sick. And for fourteen fifty, why the hell not? Yeah. Um, but no, uh, the shopping mall itself was amazing. I actually mentioned to Lucy. I loved it. I wish we could like just have a day of just shopping. Just now. shopping. Just shopping. Cause you know, we like honestly, I could have walked around with this camera for days but i didn't want to bore you guys with that and not on that we didn't have any time um but i said to loose like that is probably as close as it's going to get to disney springs uh for a, a british type mall the smells the atmosphere the shops just the vibes the vibes like it was still buzzing at this time like, yeah. like the shops were shutting but there were still like all the restaurants like the little street yeah. food, little bits everyone was just sat outside like having it, food there were table tennis going on there was oh, yeah. large chess going on it was wild like i said we'll go back tomorrow if we can um, depending on what time we get back from London, we are going to keep this as one whole vlog. So. Yeah, so we don't need to say bye to you, just no. like just shout, obviously we've still got... Well, it is going to be tomorrow for us, but it'll be like in a few minutes, a few seconds <laughs> yeah. for you guys. I'm going to jump in the shower and we're just going to chill out and watch a bit of TV. So, yeah, with that being it's said... early still. Half nine. nine. Half nine. Yeah. So with that being said, we're going to wrap this up. We're going to go to bed. See you in the morning. And we'll see you in the morning.
Good morning guys, welcome back to our full London day. Morning. As we were leaving the hotel then, we found a nice little Colombian style type bakery cafe. It's like a coffee shop kind of thing, yeah. just in the bottom of our uh, hotel in the lobby area. And they had some amazing looking uh, pastries, so we picked up two of the chocolate croissants. It's amazing, look at the size of it. It's massive isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it's these. sticky on the top. I hope, let me smell it, let me just smell it. Part. Oh, it smells amazing. I don't know if it's like Nutella or anything like that. I presume it's not, but... Either way, they were £3.60 each, which I don't think it's too bad. We are in London, remember? Sorry, there's some uh, construction going on over here. But I just want to say, uh, the bed last night was amazing. It was mm -hmm. so comfortable and it was massive. So the plan now is that we're going to head back into Westfield Mall now. We actually saw yesterday a... Was it a bagel place? A bagel mm -hmm. place. So we're going to try and grab a bagel for breakfast, as well as these croissants. Um, and then we're going to jump on the tube and head straight into London. Let's give this one a test. Ooh. I might have to go quite far into it because I think Lucy mentioned it took a while to get to the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Nope. Straight away. Oh, okay. You might have got a, a, a better filled one. Although your bites are probably bigger than mine. That's true. Mm. That's nice. It's not the best one I've ever had. No, I was just going to say, it's not the best chocolate croissant no. I've ever had. I mean, I've just been from France as well, like, so. Yeah, Fran I, Fran's do the best, but I actually think Lidl's Bakery is probably better, to be honest with you. Right. It is nice, like it's super soft. I, mm -hmm. I prefer it warm. Um, mm -hmm. It is nice. I just think I've had better croissants. Um, I just want to say the weather today. What time are we on? Ten past nine. Redders. We put sun Not cream on it every day. Not in the sky. Oh, look at my bag. Huh? Yeah, he's got his bag. Did you get some of them proper pin back things yeah. for them as well? Because loads of people in the comments on um, the last series were saying that you should yeah. get some, but you got some, right? Yeah, I got them from eBay. I think I paid about three quid for 50. Yeah. So All right, I, I yeah, managed amazing. To, yeah, I managed to secure mine, Ben's and Chris's. So, result! So we found the bagel place now. It's just on the bottom floor of the mall. Brick Lane Bagel Co. So let's go and see what we can get. So I went for a Lotus bagel. Whoa. And the juice. Look at that, guys. And I went for an apple juice and it came to £7.50 for mine. So I went for a Cumberland sausage egg with cheese. Obviously. This was £7.50 also. It's quite heavy, like it's got some weight to it. You didn't get good. a drink, right? No, I want water. I don't want anything like anything. I want some water. Let's give it a try, shall we? I wish you could pick what type of bagel it was on. Oh. You know, like an everything bagel. Mm. Oh yeah. That's nice. That's good. Oh, it smells good. I can smell. Mm. It. I can smell the barbecue sauce on that. It smells a bit. I, I, what I love me. I absolutely love Cumberland sausages. They're amazing. You're a so just gonna go over the menu that you can get here. So they do loads of breakfast bagels. With your usual breakfast items, you can get sausage, bacon, egg, Pastrami. and then you can also get. It jam nutella biscoff peanut butter butter or you can just get a plain bagel if you're boring and then they do signature bagels hey they do the reuben one you've had a reuben yeah the reuben one before amazing. haven't you didn't i have a reuben in new york and in boardwalk in florida yeah you did actually yeah that. it was massive the only reason i didn't get it is because i feel like i've had it in, in florida it's just going to be way better yeah that's true if you're going to compare it they're going to do it well better way better you can also get like pulled barbecue pork with melted cheese, which sounds nice. Like turkey breast on there. They do a vegan one and a vegetarian one as well. Halloumi, yes. And then you've got the deli fillings one, which is like usual tuna, BLT, ham and cheese, cream cheese. I was going to get cream cheese, but I thought I'm going to get something different. Cheese, egg mayo. They also do pizza bagels. They also do foot long hot dogs. <laughs> Interesting. It's too small that. I'm used to two foot long ones. Oh yeah, that's true. That'd be not. You'd have to. Yeah, you'd I'd be hungry two. after that, wouldn't you? I'd get two. They also do foot long baguettes as well, which sound good. You could get that for lunch. They obviously do all your regular hot drinks, and then apparently you could, I could have got a side of halloumi, which I didn't know. Damn it!
just like that we have arrived to Oxford Street. We actually jumped on the central line all the way to Bond Street and it was co it cost us about two pound eighty I think it was. I haven't actually looked actually yeah, what this cost. I think it's two pound eighty from what I remember but Bond Street is literally opposite us and if you can see just behind Lucy's head is the Disney store. So now Lucy's already been to Disney already. I haven't. Yeah, but they have Halloween stuff. I can see it in the window. Disneyland Paris didn't have any Halloween stuff. Quick, quick, let's go. <laughs> let's go to the Disney store. Oh, oh yeah. They didn't have any Halloween stuff in Disneyland Paris. Where am I allowed oh, to come here? Oh, I miss this. I miss this. Hey, we are back. Oh, look. Oh, that is sick. How much are we talking? 18 quid. Look how cool it is. Oh. 22. That's expensive for a cup. Mm. Welcome to Halloween night time. Is it a sign? <gasps> I love it. Wait. He lights oh. up the eyes. You feel it? Like Feels a, that actually feels really good. That's £40 though. Good God. Don't feel that good. I've got a spirit jersey as well. Yeah. Bit of you that. Turn it round. <laughs> this is Halloween, this is Halloween. Well, we've already... <laughs> we've already got that? We've already got one like this. Ours is a bit different. How much? It doesn't say. It's that silly thing where it has a barcode but no Oh, it didn't say anything. Standard. Focus, focus. Love this. How much? It says be your own kind of magic from the back. 72 quid it is. 72? You also have a hoodie look. Yeah. Wow. It says a muck, a muck, a muck down the sleeves. Not a huge fan of that. 45. I'm not a huge and fan. You've got I do like things. that though, that is really nice. Zachary Binks! Zachary Binks! Oh. 75. That's really nice. They're kind of like puffed They're out. They're like really puffed. It's quite a big, um, you know, front pocket that. Mm. Should have a look inside. Does it have anything on there? No, nothing on the zip. I love the interior lounge fly. I do always say that. What's it say? Oh, it's just the same as the outside. Oh. That's nice. I like it. I really like it, actually. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, all these. The light up lights. This is giving me I wouldn't a... um, light it up, though, because I need to take that thing out so it's ruin the battery, yeah. but... You feel a bit flimsy, though, guys, for 15 quid. A bit flimsy. A bit plasticky. Little candy corns. Hey, look, we got another long size one. Wait, look at these. Wow. Look at this. Wow, nah, that's way better than the Halloween merch. Look at that. 72 quid as well. Oh I God. love the plates. And the mug, look at the mug. That'd be a terrible drinking mug. This is for the new movie, innit? They brought out stuff because of the new movie. Yeah. The bag's amazing. He is. This is so much better than Disneyland Paris, you know? Oh, stop. It's getting better as we go down the wall. <laughs> Ooh, oh, is it like a little... Cool. You could put stuff in it like a little, you know, jewellery thing. Yeah. A little book, 35. There's that um, Jack Skeleton suitcase. Yeah, she saw one time and was like, I could do with having another yeah. one. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh, oh disaster. <laughs> Break it, you buy it. Guys, Jack Skeleton merch. Spirit jersey. Show us the spirit jersey. <gasps> it's nice, isn't it? They're playing um, a song from Nightmare Before Christmas as well. This, so uh, just as we've got to this section. I did say this was a pretty crap drinking mug but you know what it actually isn't like it's really really good that's a headless horseman one love that 
22 quid for that one and 18 quid for that one. Oh, I, love, I love that I love one. them both. They're actually really good drinking mugs. It's so cool. It's another spirit jersey there. Yeah, they're everywhere. Cushions. All the plushes. Hey, Luce, do you remember when you tried this one? Look. I know. How much? I'm guessing it's going to be like 70 odd quid, isn't it? Normally is. Oh, 75 quid. Oh, does he change? Yeah. Does he move him? Does he change his from you Santa? Oh, it's not showing on Turn the that camera. frown upside down. It's not showing on the camera, but... Oh my God, guys. So I've actually got this as a pin. Yeah, do you see it? Well, yeah. It's gonna fall. Wait, don't move. There. Yeah, what? What Disney's Disneyland pin? How much is this? 50 quid. I do like it though. It is mint. Oh my god, we've got the Pizza Planet hoodie. I feel like I wanted that Wait, one time. Did Jamie have this? Does he still? Yeah. Does it? Yeah. yeah I think Jamie, he does the, actually. Yeah. Is it, this is the one. It feels amazing. It feels really nice. That's actually one I did want, you know. You know what, I think I can see some Disneyland Paris merch. Oh yeah. Don't like the colours. I'm really not a fan of the colours of that merch. That is nice. Love that. 60 quid, that's a bit of me that. Ooh. Ah. That's a good one. This is so sick. So you guys know I'm a sucker for anything Walt. Look in the back. Look at that. It's so cute. I'm a, I'm a sucker for Walt Disney yes, stuff, yes, mate. Like actual Walt merch. 60 quid. Because you don't really see much of Walt on no. stuff, do you? And it, it hurts my soul. Because you should. Any of you guys remember when I tried this on in Florida? <laughs> yeah, and when I, would, when I was editing the vlog, I was like, I really want that. And they've got it. I think it fits you nicely. Oh, it's so nice. Like, it's not obviously long enough to wear with um, leggings, but I can wear it with jeans. Yeah, I like it. I love it. Oh, it's so cosy, you know. I love this. I do. I do. Do it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get it. We've had another purchase. <laughs> Potentially. Right, hear me out. I didn't... This is what I wanted in Disneyland Paris. Halloween merch. So I didn't have any. So now I'm coming here and I'm like, spending all my money on Because she technically didn't buy anything from Paris. I bought, like... If you saw the little bit at the end credits of the very last Paris vlog, there's like four things. Yeah. <laughs> I love that though. I love the back. Zooming on the booty. I love the colour, the green. Because I've not got one in this colour. And I feel like it's a colour that you can wear, do you know what I mean? It's not very bright. Like that other orange, the other Halloween spirit jersey in here, it's like bright orange. It's a bit... I'm just like, I'm afraid that like, I tell my parents... Plus a little party mansion. <laughs> Fitness yeah. Fashion, this is a medium. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Do it. Let me see. I'm going to get up close to your face. They're sick. They're sick. <laughs> I, can't, I can't buy more ears. I just bought them root ones. <laughs> oh, these are sick, actually. Aren't they? How much? I have seen them before when they first came out and I wanted them, but I didn't end up getting them. Oh, I mean, I was going to be right, mess. 28. Not bad. They're really good quality. Mm. Ooh. Look, Oswald's on sale as well. $7.99. You know, last time I came with Perry, um, there weren't that many decent cups, I'm going to say. But I have seen this. Can I show you this one? Look at that. Wow. What's that like as a 18 quid? So, as a drinking mug? Yeah, that'd work. I do like that. Okay. This is, 20, one, isn't it? this is 20 one. quid, this one. That's not worth 20 quid, that. Surely not. Surely not. What else have we got down here? Oswald again. But I found more Oswald merch, guys. Look. I just want to point as well. My dad bought me the very, very first piece of Lego because obviously I've got a garage now, so he actually bought me the Steamboat Willy um, bolt. But look at this. It's not Lego. Like it's not Lego. Like, oh, no, the, Le the Lego's way better. That's cute, how much? 45 quid, you know what? That's alright. We decided we're going to get this for the new house. This is 65 quid. On a shelf somewhere, that'll look sick. Yeah, it would look nice, that one. I really like that, yeah. It is quite spenny, but... It's quite weighted, but it is metal as well, so it will last. I like. Check this out. It's an Avengers flask. 30 quid, though. I don't think it's 30 quid's worth, but... <coughs> 
I do like it. I got I do like one. it. This cup's really good. Look at that. That is sick. I do like that. How much? 22 quid. You know what? I'd pay 22 quid for that. Avengers Campus merch mm. that was in Paris. Was it? Mm-hmm. So you don't even have to visit Avengers Campus not to see this stuff. <laughs> you know what? I think of all these of all these cups here, this is probably my most favourite, I would say. I just love like the feeling yeah. of it. The Black Panther one there is quite cool. Oh that is also cool. I do like Got that. Some ears. Spider man ears are cool. You might as well say hello in the vlog while you click. Because we will watch this back, won't we? You'll oh, see yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love the like design of this store. In it. Like, look at this. So this has got like loads of princess dresses down here, but I've just heard a woman say they might be Christmas decorations, so we're gonna go and have a look. This is the only Christmas <laughs> ornaments we've found. <laughs> but I'm not mad about it because they've got Halloween stuff and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. So that shopping trip was a huge success. Lucy spent 127 and I spent 65 on the ornament type thing. We also met some amazing viewers as well, so if you guys are watching, it was an absolute pleasure to meet you guys. Yeah, it was amazing. The staff in there as well, how nice She was lovely, the cashier that we just had was lovely. Yeah, so nice, so, so nice. I'm not gonna lie, I think we're holding up the queue. I'll turn around. Once we, I didn't even want to look so far, I bet people are like, I wish they'd stop talking. I turned around and went, ooh! Because obviously we were talking to the staff members for so long. We've so been there nice. Ages. It's been about five hours now. Yeah. <laughs> but the plan is that we're going to head over towards the um, flagship store of Ralph Lauren. I've my, never been. My favourite store. I've never been to it yet because you went with. You've been like twice now without yeah. me, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So I need to experience it. You know we love a Ralph. I, so I love it. Ralph. So let's head on over. I think I know where I'm going, but there's a, there the is camera. a wasp at the camera. Uh, oh my God, it's gonna. <laughs> it's, oh. Come on, let's walk. Um, I think I know where I'm going. I'm not 100 percent sure, so. which I think that's a hand towel I think yeah I've got bath mat hand towels and obviously the body sheets which I think are up there they're absolutely massive yeah honest to god they not actually washed them thanks to that they're amazing um, they were so, so soft. soft so soft and the body sheet is huge yeah, sheet. I love this it's like um this is the um it's the polo shirt kind of yeah shirt. towels you know what the I mean the polo towel the polo towel yeah and hence why it's got the love we want them all. This here, right? So we all know I love a watch. This is like, not so much the watches themselves, but the case is like a dream case for me. It's a Ralph case, you know what I mean? And look at the state of that. Love that. I can just see it already, all, all my watches laid in the collection. I'm not 100% sure. I think these watches are about 1,300 quid, which isn't crazy, I don't think. I do love the top I middle. I think the top right. Top the other one. Mm. I know that's really weird to say that I like the yellow one, but it, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it's navy blue as well. Nice. The... That's giving me a Formula One type vibe. Mm. And they also do, guys, on my street. You know what, you know what's so frustrating? Is I've left my sunglasses in. Oh, well, just buy um, some from here then, yeah? I know, yeah, I've left my sunglasses in the hotel. They're in the safe, yeah. Oh, I think I've put them in the my safe. My head's way it. too big for them. <laughs> can we just appreciate this deco in this entire room? If I remember correctly, these were on sale last time I came in, right? And because they, they make me nervous when people stare at me in shops, um, I think they were 65 quid at the time, they were. And I don't think they are now, because obviously it doesn't say sale on them. 
I don't know what they are now, doesn't obviously have tags on, but 65 quid at the time. I was fuming when I left, because I checked online, I thought... Yeah, because they're really nice to go back on the Oh, so gutted. I'm gutted now, but that's a beautiful pillow, isn't it? Yeah, I love that. I may have just found my new favourite bag. Look at this. It's like a travel bag, do you know what I mean? Look at that. How much? I don't know what it says. Made in Italy, so I'm assuming... I'm going to say about a grand, maybe. It feels amazing. So we've just come out of Ralph's store now. I don't know what it is at the moment. Everyone's in such high spirits. Everybody's so kind, aren't they? Yeah, all the Ralph stuff was super, super nice. We spent I so much time in, in there, there, didn't we? Yeah, I loved it in there. That was great. Uh, we finished now, so we're going to head over to Leicester Square. We're going to grab a drink first because she's getting really, really warm. I mean, I was just walking in the shade and it's made me come over to the sun <laughs> to walk in it and I'm like, only been here 30 seconds and I'm like dying. I need to get back in the shade. It's hot though, <laughs> isn't it? Like, I feel like I'm in Florida. 28 it so, is. Oh, it's we're getting warm. Even, yeah, it's not even like mega hot. It's getting, it's going to be like hit 30, is it? 31? Yeah. At 31, I think it's going to hit. But the plan is to head to Leicester Square. There's got a Tesco around there, so I want to grab a quick drink. It's coming out. Oh, I might get a monster. Um, have a look around there, do a bit more shopping, maybe head over to Covent Gardens, maybe? Yeah, maybe. well, it's your birthday trip, so I'm just going to let you choose what you want to do. Yeah, well, there's no real plan what's maybe going on here. We can go near the River Thames because there might be a breeze. Oh, yeah, we could do that, couldn't we? I've not, I've not been there for a quite while. That's nice, yeah. Yeah. Well, like the London Eye bit is there yeah. and stuff, just like chill. And there's also no real plan. The only thing we have planned in is Back to the Future the musical. The rest is just kind of um, winging it. And don't forget the theatre diner we bought. Theatre Diner. Actually, I, I need to double check what time we're actually booked yeah, in for yeah. that. Actually, I've yeah. got my emails in a minute. Just double check. For those of you that may have seen our New York vlogs, that's very similar to Ellen's Diner, isn't it? Very I think similar. So. That's the sort of vibes it's going for. Yeah. yeah. If it is anything oh, like oh, Ellen's Diner. Hey. I didn't go there last time. No. When I came to London. But no, if it is anything like Ellen's Diner, it's going to be amazing. The atmosphere when we went there was incredible. I actually I said in the New York. Ellen's Diner. In the New York vlogs, I said that was my favourite place to eat. Yeah, so, I think it was mine as well. Yeah, and that's not not food in terms of food related, but atmosphere, the atmosphere, like the, whole, the, the whole energy, theme, the whole vibe. Yeah. So aside from those two things, nothing else is booked in. We're just simply just strolling around London, kind of uh, nipping into shops you want to see. Maybe Fortnum and Macy's. I don't think I need anything for there because I weren't there long ago. I actually got my tea bags. Maybe Harrods. Get some, yeah. yeah, I've got I've got some left. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love some Fortnum tea bags, me. So monsters have been acquired. We went to the little Tesco here, just on the uh, right hand side of where Leicester Square is. I just remembered they have a cold stone here. Now, I have actually been before. Last time I came. It was, the, all right, the ice cream was really good, but in terms of the portion size and the money I paid for it, it was embarrassing. I think I paid for a large, and when I saw the picture, which I'll do, we'll insert that here. Yeah, we'll insert it in the vlog, yeah. Yeah, we'll insert it here. It was, and people had said to me, surely you've taken a bite out of that. I genuinely hadn't even touched it, and I think I paid about 10 quid for it. So, so, I'm willing to give it another shot. So yeah, gonna, and we need some ice cream. Yeah, we're gonna head over. Let's go cold store. Let's I'm gonna get. Again. I'm gonna get another large. And let's see and compare. We'll see what happens because you all know in Orlando and City Walks, their cold stone is amazing, and I think they are about the ice cream must be about that big. And this one, I swear to God, like I said, you'll see in the picture, it was atrocious. The guy gave it me, and I went, "It's large, that any man." He went, "Yeah," and I was like, "Oh my God." And I did say at the time, I'm not going again, but I'm going to give it a second chance, so it let's go and find going again? Going again. And here we are, we're going yeah. again. It means nothing to me. I can't even remember his name. Why are you so upset? So we've just left Trafalgar Square, just heading on into Leicester Square now. Because I think Lucy might want to go to the M&M store, but we've just come across Wizards and Wonders. Or Wizards? Wizards Wonders? No idea. Be rude not to go in though, right? You're a wizard, Harry. Oh god, he's found the ones, guys. You know what's going to be coming soon. <laughs> okay, I need to leave. Hagrid. Wizard Harry. <laughs> Ben's more like Hagrid, anyway, that Ben's, beard. Ben's Hagrid, innit? Ben's Hagrid. Belly, beard. Yeah, 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 that's Ben, that is, yeah. I'm assuming this is a Slytherin selection of like t shirts, jackets, jumpers. I don't know how much the eye doesn't say, but... This is our house. <laughs> That's is. really nice. That's nice, isn't it? It doesn't say how much it is, though, but I do love it. What, is that a scarf? That's a scarf, yeah. I'll take it off. It feels really good. It actually feels really nice. 40 quid! 
40 quid. By the way, I figured the prices. 30 quid, 55 quid. <laughs> you figured it out, it figured literally it out. says that. You know what, that's not bad. That and gloves. That's so you bad. obviously do it for all the other um, yeah. Come over here. houses as well, but... I love the Griffin dog one, it's really nice, isn't it? I'm gonna look at the posters. Yeah. Did anybody else used to go to HMV as a kid and just flick through them? Yeah. And only wish that you could have them? Oh, best game ever. We completed it. Completed it, mate. Would that be too far as a drinking mug? Absolutely not. Ben, imagine how many cups of teas we can have in that. Is it a Lord of the Rings one, though? I think so, yeah, Lord of the Rings. Let's stick to Harry Potter, right? <laughs> It's nowhere near as big as the last one, but look at that. That's sick. How sick is that? Look at that. Oh, that is sick. How much? So, um, I don't know what it says. I don't think it says. Um, I'm just going to, I don't know. But Chris has actually, when we go into Chris's house, Chris and Leanne's, he's actually bought a big Harry Potter mug for, and that's my mug when I go around, isn't it? It's, oh, yeah. It's like the max version of this one. And Chris, it's, you still need to get me one if you're watching. I'm not happy that you have not given me a goblet <laughs> got me yet. One. But I think he mentioned um, he paid about 75 quid for it, so maybe about 50 quid for one of them. I love it, though, it's amazing. They're cool as well, they like the like, yeah. potion Cauldrons, pots. Yeah. Cauldrons, that's in potion pots. A potion pot? In mm. potion pot. They're 25 quid. That's not bad. How sick is that? Okay, yeah, that's it. Be a bit much for like in a bathroom or a house, I think well, that's it. Amazing quality, though. They're sick. That, that is sick. I love that. Look at that, look at that uh, clock. Yeah. That was bigger. Mm. Yeah. 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 I love that. So I was right, the ass 75 quid. This is the one Chris got me. How insane is that? But look at the Death Eater one. Yeah, this is more like you actually. No, they do actually do these in the actual Slytherin ones. Obviously, if you look at Gryffindor here, Oh, I'd love a sliver in one, yeah. Chris, if you want to. So let me pull it out, let me show you. Just pull it out quickly. So you see on that picture there, they've got all the houses. Let's have a seat, let me zoom in on that. Slytherin, obviously, there. Oh, yeah. 70, you know what, 75 quid, I think that's so worth it. The quality is next level. So there's a huge queue at the M&M store, so we're going to head on into the Lego store while there's no queue whatsoever. <laughs> I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Oh, oh, oh. so give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me You ever want to know how to get to not turn out, then? That's what you do Diagonally! This store is insane It's insane What did he say? Diagonally I thought he did But don't you try to call me tomorrow there's nothing personal in having a little fun You'll wait and see if it's worth your while oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me Give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me So, this is actually slightly bigger than the last time. This cost me nine quid. I went for the peanut butter one, the one I had in um, Orlando, in Citywalk. So, let's give it a try. Nine quid. It's a lot more expensive over here, I think, as well. Wow. Unbelievable. So, the other thing I would say is different is probably the size. Because it tastes the same, isn't it? I'll insert a picture of what mine looked like because whilst you were ordering, I had to eat it because it's literally melting really fast mine. Oh, it's amazing. But I went for banana caramel crunch. So, so good. I filmed all the made it and really seen it. But I just wish it was like three or four times bigger. And mine is melting so quick. I don't know about yours. Oh. Well, mine's just like milk at this point. It's amazing. Wow. 
Okay, so we've just come out of Cold Storm now. It was amazing, amazing. So, so. Um, compared to your last trip you came? No, I mean, last time, last time I did come, it was nice. It was just very, very small. I'm it pretty sure. It wasn't what you expected, was it? No, I'm pretty sure. Like I said, I paid for a large and I'm pretty sure I got a small because that was, I wouldn't say much bigger, but it was definitely bigger. It was definitely bigger this time. Mine so melted so quick. It did, it yeah. did. Lucy was wasn't, lovely. she wasn't a huge fan of the actual banana pieces in hers. Yeah, it was, it was, I did, I liked them, but it was just a weird consistency with everything else. Yeah. Like, it was just something I'd never had before, but I enjoyed it. I oh, it was it nice. All, so, yeah, I, mean, it was I can't nice. say I didn't like it, but it was a good one to have. It was yeah. nice. Like I said, it, I said to you, to you didn't I, inside, like, it tastes like Florida, it smelled like the one in Florida. It was just a little bit more expensive and just a lot smaller. I'm but excited to try the Florida. I need to, when on our next trip, I have to go. Whether it's, yeah, yeah. I'm freezing or not, I'm going to go. Oh, it's <laughs> unbelievable. But you know what? If you're in London, do check it out. It is amazing. It's a little bit expensive, yeah, especially. It's worth going to. Oh, yeah. If you've got a family of four or five, it can get extremely expensive. Just be aware of that. Because they have they have ones that are already made, obviously what which I went for the caramel banana crunching, but I think you can make your own. Yeah. I think you can pick an ice cream and then toppings. Yeah. Which I didn't know until later and then I thought actually I bet you could I could have made my own, but oh well it was so nice that I went for. But in short, definitely recommend. If you look here, no you can probably see it, if you look through there, oh, yeah, there's yeah. a London Eye. We're just literally right outside Downing Street now. I'm assuming nobody's coming out. I don't really want to see them to be honest with you. That's no, a bit boring. It's a bit boring, boring. yeah. People Downing just wait. Street, but... but London Eye is just there. We're having the that's best time, aren't we? That's where we're heading, isn't it? Yeah. Just for a little, just to see it for a little bit, and then um, our re reservation is in an hour and ten minutes. It's at three o'clock at the theatre coffee diner. Yeah, we actually which we thought, it, which is a bit earlier than we thought it was. But mm -hmm. good job I checked my email. I was like, oh, it's three, three o'clock. Yeah, because I just said to Lucy, I, like, I think it's five o'clock. It's not I know, three. Yeah, it's three till five. Yeah. We've got it because I think they give you two hours. So good job we've not really had any lunch. I, know. I mean, we've had the ice cream, but oh well, oh, well. I'll have something little in there. Always hungry, eat everything, regret nothing. So we have just finished at the London Eye and the Big Benjamin. Um, it is currently half past two, so we're gonna make our way back towards the Theatre Cafe Diner. Uh, Google Maps does say it's 21 minutes, so that'll give us about 10 minutes to spare. So if I do pass the Tesco, I'm gonna grab water because, damn, it's hot. Oh yeah, we can drink it on the way first. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting a bit, need, um, need a bit thirsty. A bit of dehydration. Yeah, we had a monster before, didn't we? So we could do with getting some water, actually. Yeah. Stay hydrated, guys. But down on the front there was beautiful, wasn't it? How nice was it? Yeah. So, so nice. Yeah, it is really nice. Yeah, so let's go and get an early, early lunch. I'm not sure what they've got. I don't think I've just dropped the bag. Hey, don't be dropping that. My spirit jersey and stuff. <laughs> no, yeah. Let's go get some Important lunch. Stuff. What, your spirit jersey? Yeah. What about the ornament I bought? <laughs> No, that is Thief. sick. No, that is sick, actually. Yeah, it is sick. Yeah, it, I can't wait to put that up. Yeah, we're going to put it in our new living room. Uh, we're waiting for a media wall to be installed. When it's done, it's going straight up. Yeah, so um, follow us on Instagram because you'll get to see loads of like home stuff on there. Um, I don't think we'll do any home vlogs or anything like that. No, no, no. Even though a lot of people ask us to. I don't think we will. We're just going to stick to vlogging, like, you know, staycations, yeah. travel and stuff. So follow us on Instagram for our home stuff. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't... We, stuff like that. We spoke about that because, like I said, we did... We have a lot, a lot of people have said like do a home vlog but some things we just don't want on social media or social media i say youtube because unfortunately not everyone has the best uh hearts at the best what do you call it what do you say it um intentions best intentions oh, let's just say that i know like the majority of people that watch us like yeah. nothing against you guys or anything like that like you obviously just want to see it's like people's homes that like, i like a home vlog but no i just don't think 
I mean, you might see it on like an angle or something. Yeah. Like a sneak peek, you know. Time to hydrate. <laughs> Top tier drink, this, isn't it? Mm. Top tier drink. Oasis. Yeah. Mm. Love it. Let's get some food. We've just found another Wizards of, uh, Wizards and Wonder store here, which actually looks ten times bigger than the one we saw up towards Leicester Square. Uh, oh, what I want to keep calling it, Wizards and Walt. Wizards and Walt, yeah, yeah. Shout out to you and, uh, guys. <laughs> that's, why I keep, that's why I keep getting confused. Yeah, I keep wanting to call it. I thought like, oh, there's a Wizards and Walt shop and I'm like, oh wait. <laughs> Kim, Dan, your fault. Uh, yes, yeah, so we saw Wizards and Wonders here. It looks, we walked past the uh, window on the other side. It looks well better. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some food um, and then if we do have time before obviously the show I'd like to come back and check it out because there, there seems to be a lot more Harry Potter type merch in it. Well good. So we've arrived guys at the Theatre Cafe Diner. Look at it. This is like so good. Time is five to three. Let's go in. So we've just ordered food now, um, I've literally just put a request and there's a board on the side that says special request so I've just put a request in for one of the uh, Back to the Future songs, uh, it works. So she's going to go and check to see if somebody actually here who knows it, uh, hopefully they do because obviously we're going to go and watch it so such a vibe in here. Get him So we both went for the quesadillas. Now we're very simple like that in Florida. We like to take everything out. So it's simply got chicken and cheese inside the quesadilla. We also went for the mac and cheese balls or mac and cheese bites, whatever you want to call them, and some very, very good looking cheesy fries. Which, by the way, for a portion of one is really, really big. But I'm gonna give this one a try. It smells bad, it smells incredible. Oh my god. Really good. There's so much cheese going on on this table. No such fine. thing as too much cheese. Number one. I'm a girl who's rich. My only job is to marry rich. My father has no son, so I'm the one who has a social life. For the oldest and the wittiest, you play glass in New York City. Is in city is Alexander's famous. You know what I mean? What? Bend and snap. So we have just come out of the theatre cafe diner. It was everything we thought it was going to be. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. The food is really good. Uh, in total it cost about £61.63 I think it was. I for, think that's quite good. I think it's quite reasonable. With the atmosphere as well, like you get the whole experience of them all singing yeah. and stuff like it's great. And not only that, we also are in London, so for London prices, that's yeah, really good. Actually, yeah, true actually, we're in the centre of London, aren't we? So, yeah. 10 out of 10, so, so good. It, like Ellen's Diner vibes all around. It yeah, was it just so reminded good. me of that, literally yeah. the same, the voices. It was amazing, 10 out of 10, we absolutely loved it. Definitely recommend. Definitely recommend, I'd, I want to go back there again yeah. already. It's currently quarter to five, so we don't have to be at the theatre until seven o'clock. 
So we do have a couple of hours now, so we think we might head back to the Harry Potter store, the bigger one. Yeah, no, of course we've obviously filmed more sort of stuff in there, so we probably won't film anything in there, really, we'll just do it for it. We want to go back. More, yeah, more we'll stuff. let you know. Well, we'll show you what we do after we've been in there. Yeah, of course. We've not, really, not really got a plan, have we? Not yet. Go for a mooch again. Just wonder. It's a uh, 32 degrees still, guys. 32 <laughs> degrees. The aircon as well in there weren't working, was yeah. it today? I was like, are you joking <laughs> me? Like the one time that I'm coming and the aircon isn't on. But to be fair, once you had the hot food for some reason, it cooled me down. Yeah, you said so, that, didn't you? Yeah, so I'm fine, but like it is muggy out here. We've also not mentioned I have changed. So I've gone for my universal type shirt for the theatre tonight. It's got, um, it isn't completely Back to the Future, but it does have. It has got Back to the Future on yeah. it, isn't it? It's got E.T., Jaws, Back to the Future. I thought, you know what? Oh, E.T. Look at this. Look at him. Yeah, bringing Florida home. Yeah, so I have changed into a vest of and my shirt. Of course I've changed. Got to look good for the uh, theatre. Anyway, let's head to the store. And uh, if, if we find anything new, we'll show you guys, of course. So. We pick these up. <laughs> We didn't need we didn't need anything from a Harry Potter store, did we? But no. it's for the house, though, right? It's for the house. I'm thinking as we have um, as you're coming out front door, we just have like a little room where it's just a toilet. I'm thinking we could hang these up there. So we've got a Slytherin one, the undesirable number one, Harry Potter, and then the Care of Magical Creatures, because that's what I do on the game. Yeah, I've got you do. the um, what's it called that game now? I've got like a set. I just care for the magical creatures on there, whilst he goes in Avada Kedavra's everyone. And then we just saw that. Like, we were thinking we could put like a diffuser oil in there, little sticks coming out. Agreed. That would look so good I mean, in the even just Even it just being on a shelf or something, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that would still look sick and it goes well with a the theme, a bit of a black and green slivering theme in there. I think that would be cool, that. So we've not got anything Harry Potter, have we? Like no, merch or anything in our house or... I've also found this as well. How insane is that? So I've spent all my money now in the Harry Potter <laughs> store. Yeah, that was the most uh, <laughs> random, unexpected purchases, I think. But I don't regret it. I actually love them. Yeah, sick. And now we've just literally stood outside the Adelphi Theatre where we're going to watch Back to the Future later. But we just thought we'd come and have a look because it was like showing like a two minute walk from where we just were. Yeah. So it's literally just in front of us. I feel like people are already queuing. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Uh, yeah, it could have been a, it could have been a matter. I think it was because I think these people are coming out. There's people so. coming out, so maybe that was the the afternoon one. I think you're right. It is busy. Yeah. But we're gonna get a few. Try and get a few pictures of Steve now with the sign. Because you, you and me as well. Because you've got your. Got me a uh, me universal type shirt on. Dead yep. cheap. This was a steal. This when I bought it, wasn't it? Dead it cheap. It actually was, wasn't it? And just like that, it's almost time to be heading into the Adelphi Theatre. It's currently quarter to seven. So in 45 minutes, it officially starts, but they are, they are now letting people um, head on in. see some merch. Yeah. For the uh, past hour, we haven't really vlogged much. We kind of went uh, for a nice wander around the theatre district. We saw Lion King 6, Frozen, a play that goes wrong. And we're just kind of checking out the theatres and that. We grabbed a couple of Mama drinks. Mia. Mamma Mia. We sat by the uh, River Thames. We found a random hotel because I needed the toilet. And it was well posh, wasn't it? Yeah, we went in and I was like... It had Balmain um, hand, hand wash. soaps and stuff in the yeah. toilet, so I was like, yeah, I think this is a real posh hotel. I'm, I'm in just there. Trying to unclip it, <laughs> put it in my pocket. <laughs> Thief! <laughs> no, so we are going to head on in. We're going to um, check out some of the merch. That's Definitely. what they do merch. Probably I'm spend more my money, guys. I mean, yeah. why not? Rich! <laughs> I no, wish. I'm so yeah. ready for this. I've been saying, I said this to you earlier. I, I've, I've wanted to see this musical for so, so long. Um, and the fact that now. Oh, oh yeah, we got snacks. Yeah, the, fa the fact that we get to see it now is mega excited because I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. Steve. Of course they're mine. Uh, we've got the snacks, we're ready to head in. I'm not going to make the same mistake Perry and Sophie made in New York. Oh yeah, we're taking our own stuff in. We've got a Ribena ready, like, yeah. we're not going to go and pay. Because it will be, it won't be probably as expensive as no. New York, but it's still going to be expensive. You may as well take your own stuff in. We just got them from a co-op or Tesco Express, yeah, I think. Super cheap, it. super cheap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's head on in. Yeah. Check the merch out and then grab our seats. We're going to go back to the future. Back to the future. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Whoa. So we found the merch bit. There's so many nice things. 
Oh my god, this one, this merch is it? sick. It's got two t-shirts. I do like that one. I feel like I've seen someone wear that before. The DeLorean one's cool. Do you know what? In terms of pricing, they're 25 quid. Are they? The t-shirts? That's, good. that's, that's good. really good actually, to be fair. Right, oh, socks. I'm sure the socks. How much are the socks? Uh, £12. Pound. 12 quid. Nice. A mug. These are magnets. They're cool. Yeah. These key rings are really good. They're only a fiver. These yeah, the time rings. ones. They're only a fiver. Oh, they're cool. Look at the Christmas decoration. Oh, six that. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that's sick. The DeLorean. 18 quid for that ornament. Is it? 18. The DeLorean one. That is sick. That is sick. Obviously, there's stickers. And then there's this little uh, number. This is just a long sleeve t shirt, right? I believe. Have you seen these pins as well that yeah, they say? Yeah, I know. There's yeah. a pin there, and then there's a, a DeLorean one on the yeah. other one. There's um, like a bag. Tote bag. Tote bag. There's a hoodie. Where we go in, we don't need robes. I love all of this merch. These are the prices as well. I know we went over a few. Just in case you guys are wondering. We may have bought something. So. Of course we have. <laughs> so I picked up the uh, Back to the Future musical keyring and Lucy picked up the magnet now because we've just obviously moved, we've got a new fridge. It can now officially have... Yeah, we've actually got a fridge that we can put magnet magnets on. Magnets on! Because the other one we had in the old place was like concealed. It was integrated. It wasn't, yeah, yeah, it were um, magnetic. But these both were six quid a piece, so you know what? For a, a, a West End theatre type thing, that's quite cheap, that isn't it? I think so. Yeah. And they're really good quality, so that's really thick. But I love it! Very excited! So as you walk in, I just want to show you the decor as you walk throughout to the little lobby area. Look at it all the way around. You've got Mayor Goldie Wilson. All the way around. But it's everywhere. Like you've even got like the Texaco sign, Hill Street here. How insane is this decor? Have you seen the Save the Clock Tower? Oh, Save the Clock Tower as well. I absolutely love it. Like It's not even started yet, but just, just to be in here is... Ah, oh, I'm so excited. I love this Hill Valley General Store. This is obviously where we bought um, the merch from. Yeah. Oh, we're going in! Ooh, we're going in! Whoa. Look how sick it looks! Oh we'll show you when we go in. Well, we're going wave upstairs. Oh, are we? Oh. <laughs> sweating. <laughs> So we have just come out of the Back to the Future musical. It was the best thing I've ever seen. 50 out of 10. Unbelievable. I'm not going to take any spoilers. No, we can't. I was, I was thinking that. I was like, how do we explain like <sighs> it without giving spoilers? So I'm, we just, I'm just not going to say anything. The best go thing I've ever see seen. It. 100% going yeah. to see it. With, with all any bit of money. Like, you we know had what? the best seats as well. They sounded exactly like the musical soundtrack. If you ever listened to the soundtrack, they sounded exactly like that. And I think they had really good accents, like they sounded like they're doing the film. It was unbelievable, like unbelievable. The whole like, stage set up. Stage, costumes, costumes, music, lighting, special effects. Wow, wow. Like, absolutely amazing. Like, I, I said 50 out of 10. Can we appreciate the, the most amazing seats that Lucy got us as well? Because they were unbelievable, weren't I know, they? well I was, I just, obviously you don't know which is the best seat to get. No. But I think I did really well. It was we were in the stalls, is that what they call it? Yes, yeah, circle, isn't it? The circle, mm -hmm. so it's like the second, the middle like section upstairs. Right, the front. It was uh, row B, yeah. so like two from the front. The best. And we were in the middle. Worth every penny. I didn't pay for it. Lucy paid for it, thankfully. Uh, but worth oh, every worth penny. It. Yeah, it was worth even paying for two tickets. Yeah. Like, that was absolutely amazing. But we've just come out now. It's uh, almost half ten, and it is still very hot, isn't it? Yeah. It's wild. I feel like I'm on holiday. It's crazy. But all we're gonna do now is we're literally heading back to the underground because we're gonna yeah. head back over to the hotel. Yeah. Which, how long is it saying, do you, you say? It's a 30 minute walk from here and to then, Holborn Underground Station and then we get the central line straight to Stratford. Which is about 20 minutes, isn't it? Maybe, maybe a bit less, yeah. yeah. So we're just going to do that. And just like that, we are back at the hotel. Lucy has already 
buggered off. She's absolutely dying of heat stroke. She's somewhere. <laughs> She's. Yeah. As soon as I got in, I literally like threw my dress off, and then he was like, "We've got to win the vlog." And I was like, "I'm not putting it back." Yeah. It's literally wet through, so I'm in the background. <laughs> but no, we are back. It's just gone at eleven o'clock, so we're gonna have a couple of showers, um, yeah. and then we're just gonna hit the hay because obviously we have one final, not full day, oh, but. Oh, yeah, we're going to meet some friends, which is super exciting. But again, for you guys, this vlog will continue as soon as we wake up. So until then, see you when we wake up. Bye. Peace. The next day. Good morning, guys. Morning. We have officially checked out of the hotel. I just want to say the gantry, if any of you guys want to stay around the London area and is looking for really cheap parking, uh, a beautiful hotel, fantastic mm -hmm. beds, fantastic rooms, great decor, the gantry is the way forward because it was, it was beautiful. You said it was probably your favorite hotel you've stayed at in the uk isn't it yeah we actually it was yeah mm, which yeah. is it was it was so good so and i definitely recommend it put you off that it's in stratford and it's not actually like in london city center because the tube what takes like 15 15 minutes max if that 15 into actual london so yeah as you location. um as you come out of the hotel you literally just walk down through the westfield mall and the station is literally within three or four minute walk it's super super easy to navigate so definitely recommend thumbs up oh yeah, 100%. we sorted the parking out basically when we arrived on the friday night we got there let's say about half seven eight o'clock whenever it were uh, yeah. pm we basically paid from that moment obviously until the same time we arrived from the sunday Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, Does yeah, that yeah, make yeah. sense? Yeah, yeah. So we so got we there. we arrived at the um, car park at half seven and we've now got till half seven tonight, tonight. Un yeah. until we then pay an extra 24 yes. hours. Yeah. So we're technically paying for the two days, for two days basically. Yeah. It was eight quid for the Friday and six quid for the next day. Oh, the other way around. Oh, the other but way. it doesn't really matter, does no, it? No, it doesn't so, really yeah. matter. No. But um, and they minused it off the deposit because I don't know if you mentioned, but you had to, I had to pay a deposit if it, well, I didn't pay it, it just held it off the yeah. card. I just put my card in. Uh, that was 50 quid. So they've just minused it off that and give yeah. you back whatever it is. Yeah, it's just great. Minus it's just a great hotel. Like you said, they give you those bottles and it's unlimited free water from the, the service. The service. The customer service, unreal in that hotel, to be fair. Yeah, it was amazing. Really Hotel's amazing. I'm no, so we um, grabbed breakfast from the Westfield. Lucy got a Starbucks. I got a quick Greg's because um, I just wanted like a sausage baguette away. And they're really decent. And for yours Greg's. did end up being cheaper than mine. Mine oh, was yeah. about eight quid. Yeah. I got a pan of chocolate and I asked for it to get warmed up. Yeah. And then a strawberry I say large. And then you got a little. Sandwich and a yeah, yeah, chocolate yeah. for like three quid. But no, we, we jumped on the um, underground, we made our way to Bank Station and we're going to head over to Tower Bridge. <clears throat> Is that London Bridge? It's some sort of bridge. Some sort. It's weird because we were here a few years ago. This is where we stayed, so we're yeah, coming out going, hey, we stayed yeah, here we before. We recognised it, didn't we? Like, we mm. stayed in this area anyway last yeah. time. If any of you guys have seen our last Universal Day, we actually bumped into some viewers, uh, Michelle and Rack, who um, we actually, I think we mentioned in the vlog that Rack was a mortgage advisor and, and... Yeah, I don't know what we actually said, but he is a mortgage advisor. Yeah. And long story short, we ended up using him for our new home. Yeah, when we came back, I actually, uh, Lucy actually found him on Facebook. I know I had a bit of stalking, <coughs> actually, that sounds really bad. Yeah. But yeah, um, I did a bit of Facebook stalking, found him and Michelle. And, and they actually, him, didn't we? yeah, they actually helped us out with our new house. So while we're in London, yeah. we decided we wanted to meet up with them. Yeah, because they live down here. Yeah. Or they live near london anyway yeah. don't they so so we have a reservation with those guys at 1 p.m don't we yes at an italian can't remember the name now but obviously we'll show it yeah it's in yeah. covent garden yeah which is going to be amazing because like i said we've not seen them since florida no we facetime with rack time him, haven't we? Yeah. we messaged him like constantly over the last like few months or and then obviously everything's done now so we just wanted to go and meet him say thank you you know but that right there shows the power of youtube like you said we met some it's viewers insane. we met viewers in universal who happened to be our mortgage advisor and helped us get our new house. Oh, it's just yeah. mad how, how yeah, it all goes. Rack, honestly. It means it all to us. Like. Yeah, it goes full circle. It's crazy. It's crazy mm -hmm. how YouTube works. Um, yeah, so is. that is the plan for this evening. Right now, we're just going to head over to the Tower Bridge. Yeah, go and like, see this. Because I, I, when I last came to London, which I didn't vlog, I just went and saw my friend. We did everything but see yeah. the Tower of London and the Tower Bridge yeah. and stuff. So I thought, and you didn't see it either last no. time. So I thought, oh, we could do that today, this morning, before we go to Covent Garden. And also, the weather is beautiful. It's getting very warm. 24. I love it. Half 10. This is perfect for me, actually. If it stayed 24, like this, this would be amazing for me, but it's just going to get hotter and hotter, and then I just slowly die throughout the rest of the day. Yeah, so let's head over to. Um, I'm excited. Tower of London. Tower of London. Tower of London. Tower of London.
So we just took a nice little stroll down the Riverside uh, walkway, which by the way on a Sunday morning is very, very peaceful, isn't it? Yeah, it was really nice. Uh, we went to the Tower of London. We actually went into one of the stores. We've never actually been in the shop before, have we? No, I don't think we have. No, it was cool. Yeah, it was nice to see. Some nice. <laughs> Lucy liked a, uh, a cushion with a crown in it. Oh my God, yeah, I've loved it. <laughs> it's in the b-roll, that. It's yeah. well cute. Look good on our sofa, that. Uh, we're obviously just at the Tower Bridge now, which is just it. It is beautiful today. You've got the sun beaming from this way, and look at that. Beautiful. Now, I did say to Lucy, next time we come here, I absolutely want to go into the uh, Tower of London. We've never done it before, have yeah, we? Yeah, I would like to actually. No, oh. um, I've never really been interested until then. Like, I've got a bit older, and I'm like, actually, I feel like yeah. it would be quite good, actually. Yeah, because I don't know how much it is and stuff like that. I've never I mean, priced it up, but I reckon it'll be an alright price. I think so. I think so. It might, yeah, it's just something like it said. The older we get, the more we kind of appreciate it. It's something I really yeah. want to do now. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're just saying, um, we'd like to go up there as well. Yeah. I think you can go up to the top. I think. I think. But maybe. Oh, did they stop it? I've heard. I don't. I can't remember. I was just seeing it. There was like ticket things around yeah. there. So I think you maybe can, but. Yeah. It's Either way. It's something to do when we come back. It's definitely something I want to be doing back. when I come back because I love stuff like that. It's super interesting anyway. Um, and but I the reckon we could walk inside the Tower of London oh, as well. So it'd be a good. Um, good thing to do actually. I really want to see the torture chambers. Yeah, like the dungeons and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be sick. Yeah. Yeah, so the plan. No. Um, what have we got a plan? I don't know. Do you want to walk across it? Yes. To the other side and just, I don't know, we could just see. Could do with the beverage. time is, yeah, quarter past 11. So we could go and find a drink over yeah. there. 100%. So we mentioned we was going to go over the bridge and then get a drink, but instead we saw this Tesco Express literally right underneath before we go over. So we're just going to grab a bottle drink and then we're going to head over. Top tier drink purchased. So we're officially done at Tower Bridge now. Yeah, we're going to head over to the Comet Garden area because that's where the restaurant is mm -hmm. that we're going to meet Rack and Michelle at. So I've looked online and we're going to walk over to the London Bridge station, mm -hmm. get on the Jubilee line to Waterloo Westminster. Westminster. Begins with the same letter, you were close. Yeah. Westminster and then we're just going to walk over to Comet Garden. Yeah, because we did say, we did actually look at how long it would take to walk there, it was like 51 minutes, but we want yeah, to be able to... Yeah, it's like 51 minutes from here to walk, which we would have done usually, yeah. but obviously we want to go and get its... 11 quarter to 40. 12. Yeah, it's quarter to 12 now, so we've got an hour and 15, so it wouldn't give us much time to yeah. have a look around Common Garden. Yeah, because literally what we're going to do is we're going to go to the restaurant with Rack and Michelle, go to Milk Train for dessert, for dessert guys. and then obviously with the four and a half, five hour drive back home to yeah, Bolton. we need to kind of set off we'll after set that, off. but we need to get back to the hotel, which will probably just be a tube, and then obviously get in the car and drive back, so we're not going to have time to look around Common Garden after the meal, Yeah. so we want to kind of do it before, so yeah, exactly. yeah, it won't take us long to get there, I don't think, yeah. we'll see what time we get there, have a little look. Little meet, yeah. So let's head to the station, head to Covent Garden. So we've just arrived into Covent Garden as so we've just checked the restaurant. It's currently what six minutes away, I think it is, from Covent Garden. So that's actually closer than we thought, uh, but it did take us slightly longer just to get here. So we only have what about 20 minutes to look around. So we definitely need to head on into the Godiva's dog because that's my all time oh, yeah. favorite that, dessert truffle type thing. So it's we have, to have to, a it's kind of frustrating because they sell Godiva ice cream, but we are going to milk train after the Italian. So Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get one. So Lucy actually bought me some of these. I mean, I've got a few years ago now. Bought me a few of these. Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, so these are 37 quid. So it's an expensive truffle, but oh my word, oh, there's nothing like that. They are unbelievable. Unbelievable. And there's so many little truffles there. And these as well. These are the, uh, these are the classic collection. Um, they are ridiculously good. 50% off. In terms of the truffles, these are all 50% off. Don't know what on, but I think it's just them. It's only these, oh, it's isn't these it? ones, yeah. £22.50. Oh, it's just yeah. milk and dark, individually wrapped chocolates, 50% off. Oh my god, they're like our favourite biscuit. I love the chocolate Leibniz from Asda. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they'd be nice, like. £9, nine a box. So it is fairly expensive. Look at this. Look at the selection. They're from Paul's right? Oh my god, look at the inside of them though. Oh my god. This is what heaven looks like to me. Whoa. Oh. 275 quid for that. Wow. That's a 150 piece chocolate box. At least I should have had them. Had the world oh, to yeah. me. Perfect. Set up as well. Three quid. Things that I've said would be really good. Ooh, should get some. Try them. Try them for way home. 
temperatures have just got to melt. It's so hot. Yeah, that is true. Oh. Just about to head over to the Italian restaurant now. It's about a seven minute walk from Covent Gardens, which is really, really good. But we just went to Chanel and a uh, quick spruce, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. Could we have been out? Yeah, I put something on the, the new Chanel release. It is women's, but it smelled really, really good. It smells super fresh. Uh, but, oh, yeah. Oh, it smells beautiful. Yeah, because obviously we've been out all morning. It's super warm. We're getting very sweaty, so we needed to uh, spruce ourselves up. Yeah, so it was we nice actually. It was nice to <laughs> yeah, feel smell. A bit more fresh. Yeah, to smell, smell nice. Bit, not that I don't think it was all the sweat or anything, but it was nice to get a bit more fresh in it. She's getting rid of that bo smell. Just done at Rosa Pomodoro, I think it's called. <laughs> Behind the scenes, I've actually been trying to figure out how to say it. I know, I wish we just had filmed that. Are you yeah, trying to say Rosa Pomodoro, I think it was. It was amazing, it was beautiful. It. We're just with Rack and Michelle, you just see here, if you can remember from the last vlogs. Say hello, guys! So we're just going to head to a milk train now, but uh, the Italian was really, really good. It costs about 63 quid per couple, which is really good for one, we're in London, and two, it's a really, really good Italian. The food was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, so I got a margarita pizza and I added cooked ham and pork sausage to it. And what did you add? I had a margarita with sausage, parma ham and a spicy salami. Yeah, and we asked for fries, but he said they'd stop doing them for some reason. Yeah, they're not in fries. We but, just had literally a pizza each. And it was it was amazing. It was super, super nice. But no, uh, if you remember from our uh, London vlogs, uh, one of our very, very first, in fact, it was our very, very first vlog series, we went to Milk Train, and we've not been back since. So we're going to head to Milk Train for dessert. It's literally straight through here. Do you remember we went yesterday? Oh. Come with me. I'll show you. Um, and it was amazing when we went. We've not been back since then anyway. So um, we're going to head back. And then, of course, unfortunately, we do have to head back home. Oh which is really sad because one, the weather is beautiful down here and I know it's raining at home. I well, hate that's that. That's what it said, didn't it? That's what it's it? saying, we yeah. On our, uh, apple yeah, and we also love spending time apple. with Rack and Michelle as well. It's been super, super nice to see them again. It's weird because obviously we met them in Florida and, and you know, he helped us get our new house. And you know, if you do need any help with uh, a mortgage, please do let me know and I will give you a give link to details. Rack. Because you don't have a website or anything, does it? Because it normally works on recommendations. Yes. But so please do let me know. He's amazing, amazing, and everything he did for us, hundred percent. So uh, yeah, let's go get dessert. It's amazing. It's amazing. Well, you yeah. It tastes like um like if you, if a chocolate yazoo was in a in the form of an ice cream, it's that. This was I got I want to be your iPad. Yeah. Six pound fifty this was. It's beautiful. So this is the one I got guys. So I got vanilla ice cream, I got crushed biscoff, 
like mixed in with the ice cream and then with toppings I've got Oreos and pretzels. Give me a little wafer as well which I didn't ask for. Yeah, give it a try. If I didn't get any sauce or anything like that. But I've, I've not got a picture yet. Let me have a picture okay. first and I'll, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Pictures first look. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes I need to just get a picture for sure. Oh look at Michelle's. And and look at look at that. Berry mess. Oh my word. Mmm. This is good. incredible. And there's rocks as well. I got vanilla with chocolate flake, biscuit, um, and caramel sauce. Say what for the for the money, they're quite big. Yeah, very they? big. They're American style. Yeah. And just like that guys, this little staycation trip to London has come to an end. Mm -hmm. It has been Amazing, hasn't it? Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's a been amazing. Bit of a trip. Yep. I um, loved it. I'm not sure how long this vlog's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry if it's really long, but we, we realised like yesterday. I was like, yeah. wait, this is all gonna be one vlog, and we are, we like filming like we're doing like separate vlogs, so yeah. it could be quite long. But you know what? If you stay to the end, give us a thumbs up because well yeah, done. Yeah, drop a thumbs up comment yeah. so we know you've you've made it this far. Well done. But no, it's been amazing. The hotel was amazing. Back to the future was amazing. The food was amazing. Back to the future was an absolute highlight. Like yeah. that, I, I already want to book it and watch it again. Yeah. Un and, and I've not said that about another musical. Unbelievable. Wasn't it? Like go and see it. If you've not already, go and see it. If you can anywhere. Also, another highlight play. was meeting Rack and Michelle. The main highlight. Of the, the main trip, highlight of the trip. Forget about that. The nicest people you will ever meet. So so nice. It's been an absolute pleasure hanging out with those guys. For yeah, this past it's been great. Thank you for coming meeting us. Yeah, it's, it's an absolutely been an amazing afternoon. Um, but no, it's currently what we're saying. It's half four almost, so we're gonna jump in the Mustang. Uh, we're gonna find a petrol station because I refuse to pay service charge fuel prices. Need grab to a, get few. a drink. I am literally parched. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a monster for the way back because, like I said, it is half I'm four. It's gonna take. Actually, yeah. It's gonna take about four hours, isn't it? We've not even looked halfway no. yet. We've not. We've <laughs> literally just got back to think. I'm gonna get changed because I don't fancy sitting in the outfit no. that I've had on all day. So I'm just gonna throw a t-shirt. And, and I'm up, I'm up at 2:45 in the morning. So yeah. I don't know what this car's doing behind me. It's struggling to park. I don't know if I mentioned, but we're gonna end it here because it, we, we're only driving back. Yeah. So there's nothing more exciting. Obviously, it's one full vlog, so we don't need to be filming anymore today. Exactly. So, so. with that being said, thank you guys thank for watching. You. Please do like, subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Let us know if you uh, enjoyed this weekend trip, and we'll see what we can do. Yeah, um, like we do like going on different staycations mm -hmm. and stuff. So if it's something you guys enjoy, we can maybe book somewhere yeah. else sometime. So obviously, we have got Florida in December, but it is quite a while off. So maybe we could look at another cheeky yeah. little staycation or something. Maybe. Maybe. So with that being we'll said. Have a wonderful evening and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye guys. Hang on. Oh, it's vlogging. Uh, my oh. apologies. Okay. Hey. Hey baby. Hey baby. Hi guys. Welcome back Hi. to L channel. Why is she focused bottom left? <laughs> I'm a professional vlogger, alright? Stop telling me how to vlog. Bend and snap! Give me the guest. Give me the guest.